Like today, the last year I was studying the NBUS, the Native Hebrew Assessment School, and over the last year I had a few comments I'd like to share with you. As I already said, I was going to study the Behavioral Assessment School, the New World. They are studying the child outside the room, or any child. Okay, I'm going to study the Behavioral Assessment School, and I'm going to study the child. أنا قاعدة في الشرطة وأنا بس بيدرسوا الطفل أي طفل مش لازم بس دخل محضن أو أو اتولد بدري أو حاجة أي طفل البيهيفير بتاعه من ساعة ما بيتولد هم عندهم النيو بورن ده شخصية هيتولد يشوف الولد اللي نازل ده نازل عشان الإيميوترو انفايرمنت كان ستريس كان عنده كورد أراوند نك كان عنده كان عنده بيرسنتج سفيشنسي وبتعرف من أول يوم إن البني آدم ده بني آدم مبسوط أو بني آدم لا ده اتحضر لستريس بيقدروا من اوضته البيبي اللي اتعمل له ابيوز يعني مامته بتشتغل وسايباه مع رجاله وبتعامله ناشف هو بيكلموا على الفول تيرم اللي هو ما عندوش مشكله لما بنيجي نتكلم على البري تيرم بقى ان احنا بنطلع لنا معاقين مش بس على اللونج تيرم انا نيوت... انا بشتغل ابيشن ميديسن فبيجي الاطفال اللي عايزين عندهم مشاكل في الرضاعه بعد المحضن هو ما عندوش اي مشكله مامته عندها لبن كويس عضلات فكه كويسه بس هو ما بيحبش حد يلمسه ما بيحبش خايف من لمس، ما حدش بيعرف بيدخل لي المحضن او بيدخل العياده مكشر، هو حقيقي مكشر، ايده عامله كده، واخد فلكشن اتيتيود لدرجه ان هم بيلفوا على دكاتره العظم عشان فاكرين عظم مشاكل في المحضن. احنا بوست ديسشارج بنعمل لهم بيبي مساج، ده يعني انا عايز اقول لك ان انا اكيد بيومبر وانا بسمع التوكيد ده عشان انا توفري عليا مشاكل كتير جدا. الطفل مش عيان بيتعمل له دي ادمشن كذا مره عشان نايم قوي عشان هو بيعمل حاجه اسمها ايه؟ فايت اور فلايت. يعني انا لما عندي مشكله هي هتخانق يهبر هم الاطفال في الغالب بتشد الفيشه اللي هو البيبي اللي في الاسبوع بتاعه ده ما احنا ربناه ما بيتحركش الطفل ده قرر ان هو مش عارف يتعامل مع الناس ففصل فاحنا بنشخصه سبسس نقعد نشكشك فيه عشان سي ار بي قليل فهي الفكره لا هو بيبي مخدود عشان هو طالع من المعتقل اللي احنا كنا بنسمي المحضر في السايكولوجي بتاع نيو بورن دلوقتي في علم اسمه نيو بورن سايكولوجي المعتقل فهو طلع لنا من المعتقل هو مش ديزيز هو ما عندوش سي ار بي عادي ما عندوش قاعدين نشكشك نعيد لك نعيد لك هو نايم ليه؟ هو خايف مننا مامته هي اكتر حد بتحبه مش عارفه تشيله لانه لو شاله تجي له حاجه اسمها تمام اورال افيرجن محدش يقرب لبقه انا مش مش عايز ارضع طبيعي انا مش عايز ارضع خالص لدرجه ان في عينين بنفكر نعمل لهم جاستوسكي بس عشان احنا معلمين على الولاد في المحاريه فهو خارج واخد فاكشن اتيتيود هو داخل مكشر أول ما بتدخل قبل ما أتكلم مرة تقعد الولد قافل وشه وعامل كده وواخد ناحية تانية بنحطه على الإكزاميناشن الكرسي الكشف يعني ما بيبصش مفيش أي كونتاكت الأطفال داي وان عندهم أي كونتاكت بس لو أنا أقرب عشان أشوف وشه ده مش بصيص كل ما أجيب يمين تبص ناحية تانية ده مش هينفع يكبر مش بقى بعدين هو بيبقى إحنا بنعمل لنا ري أدمشن عشان أنا مش فاهمة إن هو طالع تورتشر من الحطام الأطفال دي لما بنبدأ نتكلم في ديفلوبمنتال كير احنا بنعمل فولو اب بقى بالقلم بس وهي نيتيف بيهيفير اسسمنت سكول بنلاقي باني فاهمه الباثولوجي حاجه ثانيه خالص كتير بتشخصوا الفلوكس بتشخصوا ان هو عنده مشكله في الاكل هو المشكله ان هو خايف ومخضوض فاحنا عايزين نبدا انا يعني سيرفنج من دينا الورك شوب اللي جايبين ده نبدا نفكر فيه كبني ادم طالع من حس تروماتيك ستريس ديس اوردر وده اي تيب مفهوم عند المحضر ده ستريس واللي خارج لي ده خلاص هو فري اوف ديزيز بس هو متعلم عليه نفسيا وكتير قوي من الديزيز اللي بتجيلنا بعد كده بتكتشف هو ولا عنده انفلاكس ولا عنده كاومي بروتين ارجي ولا عنده ديستنشن ولا عنده كونستيبيشن ولا عنده جوينت بروبلم هو بس خايف عشان احنا عاملين عليه في المحضر فمش بس الميلاتولوجيست اللي المفروض ياخدوا بالهم من الكلام ده حتى الدكتور اللي بيشوف البوست ديستشارج بيبي في المحضر في العياده في العياده بتاعته ده مش عيان ده بيبي متضايق ومتعلم عليه فيعني يعني ستارتنج من الورك شوب اتمنى ان احنا نغير الايقاظ شكرا شكرا ثانك يو انا عايزه اسال حاجه اديها دكتور حنين انا قبل ما حضرتك تيجي قلت في الرعايه كمان وقلت ستيج اوف ديفلوبمنت دي كامل ويلكم ويلكم الاولاد بيعرفوا عندهم سايكولوجي بتروحهم في ايوه ايوه هو عندهم سايكولوجي هم جاي علم All right, so Thank you. before we start... Thank you so much, Dr. Antina, for this very fruitful information, and hope everyone from now on will apply this in our videos. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you Dr. Uh,
as men. Thank you so much. So, before we start our practical part, uh, and you will be able to try uh, a few things, let me just recap a few points what Dina was talking about. So, she spoke about noise and about light protection, right? So what is important, and she mentioned, that we should cover the incubator, not only for some babies, but we should cover the incubators for all the babies we have. And you can use either the original covers, what uh, some of the companies they have, like Traeger, they have that, so they can bring it to you and it's in their portfolio, so you can ask them to do that. Or you can make your own, but if you make your own, just be sure that it's thick. The reason why, because it protects from both, from the noise and from the light. Because it's thick, so that's why it protects uh, from the noise as well. And also it must be dark, so you shouldn't choose so much colorful things that it will change the uh, color of the light inside, but it should be dark inside. And you can actually do it. I emailed to uh, my friend and checked that hopefully she will send me the pictures and you will see how it looks like in our unit. Uh, if she is able to send it, but I will show you some other things. So you can see the incubators actually that they are covered. And we don't see the babies all the time. It's not necessary. You have your patients on the monitors. So you see whether they are awake, whether they are fighting with ventilator or something, because you are, all of them, you are on the monitors. So you see whether they need an intervention or not. Also, you can use either these sound meters, but I understand that sometimes it's uh, so costly, so you cannot purchase it. But everyone has some smartphone today, right? And there are many applications you can use for measuring the noise in the unit. So you can set up your teams in the unit, you can involve the nurses, and they can measure it with the phone only. So you can use this device and everyone has the smartphone today, and everyone has the data today. So you can use it, and it's very easy, so you don't have to spend even a single pound to purchase anything. So developmental care is very easy to implement, so you don't need to spend a lot of money. You can use your resources you have, and you will see it, actually. So, uh, Dina talk about the positioning, about uh, a lot of things, what is necessary to apply for the positioning and for proper positioning. And don't forget the parents. They can always help you and you can teach them so they can be your helper. So while they do the care for the baby, so they can do nappy changing, they can do positioning with some kind of your help. So if the patient is not intubated and it's on the CPAP or the nasal cannula, they can be the one to take care of the baby. So then you will have a time to take care of the other babies. So that's very important. So I will recap uh, those uh, three uh, positioning strategies we have. So the prone position, you can see some pictures. Um, the pointer is not working, that's okay. So you can see uh, the wrong positioning. And now, just think of yourself. If you put the baby in a prone position, now all of you try to put the hands like this. All of you, okay. Turn the head on some side and take a deep breath. How is it? It's difficult, right? So then put the hands to this position and leave your head in the neutral position and then take a deep breath. How is it now? It's much better, right? Okay, so that you can imagine that we want our babies to breathe correctly and then we are putting them in this kind of position and we want them to breathe. So imagine how difficult for them it is. And now you have healthy lungs, but they don't. A majority of them, they have some respiratory distress syndrome or they have some other maybe congenital anomalies or whatsoever. And then you force them to breathe properly in this horrible position. So that's quite important to remember that their legs should be nicely tucked in as they are in utero. 
arms should be also tucked next to the trunk and flexed. Yes, if you leave it like that, now you try that it's not good. Then the head should be positioned in line or can be slightly turned, depends how you position the patient. And you should always support the tummy. With either the linen or some other positioning, it depends what you have in the unit. But even with a single linen, you can do it and it's not the problem. And the best thing is to put the baby inside the nest. If you don't have a nest, then you can make boundaries from any single linen. And again, you can use only things what you have in the unit. You don't have to purchase anything. You will see some high-tech stuff, what I have but you don't have to have it. You can really work with the things you have in the unit. Doesn't matter what you use, the important thing is how you use it, okay? So that's the prone position. Supine, I think we can always see the babies are lying, the, the, the V shape and the legs are totally uh, open and then the hips are having a lot of problems. So again, that's the same principle you should do. So always, legs should be tucked in, the same as in a prone position. Feet should be supported so that the baby have some boundary what he can actually extend and return back. Okay, so the same in utero, because once he kicks, then he feels the uterus, right? And then the leg comes back. So that's the same what he should feel or she should feel while she's inside the incubator. And that will calm the baby down as well because imagine yourself, if you're lying in the bed, you're going to sleep and you have no blanket, you have nothing around you, and you're just lying simply inside or like on the bed. How would you feel? Who likes to sleep without a blanket? No one. That's what we do to our babies, okay? They are in the incubator without anything. Nothing is there. So they are just lying there, moving from one side to the other. So that's so uncomfortable for them. The same as for you. So try to always imagine yourself in the position of the patient. But unfortunately, our babies, they cannot speak up. So they won't tell you please can you cover me or can you tuck me in because I'm not comfortable. No, they will not tell you, they will just cry. And you don't know whether it's because of the pain or because uncomfortable position or whatsoever. So we should think about themselves like we should about ourselves as well. So you should put them in the nice nest and again the same as for the, spine pos uh, as for the prone position is for the spine. So flex, hands, legs, and tap and hands should be near to the face. So you shouldn't put the baby like this. So again, imagine yourself that you're lying the whole night with the uh, uh, hands uh, around your body down there and you cannot move. So side lying. So up there you can see the baby without uh, any boundaries, without anything. So again, just imagine how the baby feels. He was in the uterus before with a lot of boundaries and nice stroking movement inside the water and now he's there. So he doesn't have anything around, so he feels stressed. So then again, the same thing. Again, what I said for prone position and what we said for the supine position applies to the side lying. So again, legs flexed, there should be something to um, support the legs as well, the feet, and also the hands should be near to the face, because when you put the hands near to the face, the baby can calm himself down. It's automatic, it's auto-regulation, that's how we call it, okay? So you can use many positioning things. Uh, the trigger has the positioning, uh, you know the snuggle-ups, uh, what Dina told me that you have. You can use the frogs, you can make your own, that's what we have. Uh, I spoke to the dragger company they, uh, and I promised them to send them the, the catalog and I promised them to send the, the company name of my high-tech positioning so we, we will see whether they are able to bring it because uh, the, the dragger positioning stuff is available maybe five years already so I don't know why they didn't bring it to you. 
but actually you have ventilators from them and you have uh, uh, incubators and all these so I have no uh, I think they don't have any reason to bring it here so maybe they can try they can try to bring it and, and it's quite easy then to use it so you don't have to then think about how many events to use and, and how to how to do it. Swaddling is also important. So if you have patient which is under phototherapy, these days you can purchase some uh, cloth what you can use for swaddling and they actually have like 85% of the light coming through or 90 depends what kind of uh, the stuff you use and what I know I think uh, the Natus company they have that and the second one I'm not sure because I'm still trying to find them because I didn't find them on the on the internet who's the one who's providing those but it's quite nice so even big babies you know they are sometimes screamers and try to move everywhere that they are rolling inside the incubator and stuff like this, so so that's quite um, important to have uh, things like that, so you can count the babies down as well. And they feel much more comfortable if they are swaddled. So even those little babies, if they are 500, 600 grams, you can cover them and you can swaddle them too. There is no problem, no harm. Can you care? you mentioned as well so it's very important and i spoke about as well how with a historical point of view so today you can also try how to give the baby to the mother so we will show you some strategy what is possible to do that the mother can be the one who will take the baby from the incubator and you will try so you can try and it's quite good and it's quite convenient either for the nurses or for the mothers because then you need just one nurse to help, or maybe two, and you don't need hundreds, hundreds of uh, hands to do that. So you can teach the mothers, and also because you engage them in, they will be more cooperative with you. So that's what you will see. I just want to show you how you can position the baby. So it doesn't matter whether you have this complex solution or not, but you will see it. So just to know what it is, so you won't be left behind. So that special positioning tool what one of the Czech nurses developed and it's actually patented in the Europe. So why I'm showing to you because you can have these high tech but you don't have to have it as well. So you can use even some stuff and you can intubate the baby inside so it doesn't matter whether the baby has some positioning aids or not. And you can intubate and you can do a lot of procedures with it. So there is no reason to remove the baby from the positioning aids for such uh, procedures. You can do it inside, it's not a problem, and we try and we know that it's possible just to convince the people to do it. So then you can position the babies nicely on supine position, support the legs as well, support the tummy. So I'll show you how to do it with a single lean-in. We do kangaroo care for our babies which are ventilated or even on high frequency. So that's how the babies look like. They are not exposed at all. They are all covered. That's uh, our baby on high frequency with the kangaroo care. This baby was uh, 22 weeks. This is like 19 days old on the CPAP. So she's almost, uh, she's like 24 plus. That's the mother's hand. So I captured the mother's hand, so she was helping me with the care. She was holding the baby while I was doing some procedures like suction and I was changing the diaper. So then in our unit, the mother is the one. So even if she has extreme preterm, which is 25 weaker, 500 grams, we have no problem to teach her how to do nappy changing. And they are afraid, of course, like first two, three cares, they are shaking and then they are really great because it's their baby. So they are very gentle, very slow, so they can do it step by step. And while she's doing the care, I can do something else or I can just be with another baby. Fine. So it's very helpful actually in the unit. That's what I don't want to see. Okay, crying baby on the CPA with no positioning, nothing. So we shouldn't see this kind of pictures, never ever, no more. 
So this is forbidden picture. That's what we want to see. Okay. Again, you don't need to use these high text. You can use the stuff what you have in the unit. And we also the breastfeeding for these little ones. So this was the one you saw before, the one on the sepa, and the mother tries to put her on the breast. And we don't care whether it's for the breastfeeding or the sucking. It's important to put the baby on the breast even if the baby is 25, 26, just to have some kind of colonization, okay? And the microbiome is really important. And even fathers, they are doing care and care for our babies which are on the ventilator, high frequency, whatever. So sometimes they even fight. Today it will be me who's gonna cuddle the baby. So, and the mother is saying, no, 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 you were yesterday, it's me today. So the best thing is to have planes so they can share. <laughs> so, you saw some pictures. You have some idea. So what we want you today to experience. So some kind of positioning. What I will show you as well, how to turn the baby properly because we shouldn't see flying babies anymore. So the uh, turning the babies like you elevate them, twist them and put them down, we shouldn't do it anymore. So I'll show you some strategies how to do it. Uh, you can uh, make a picture, you can make a video. I have no problem with that. I sent Dr. Banya one video already, so you can share, you can use it uh, as you wish. I have no problem with that. Uh, what I, we will show you as well, how to do half kangaroo. Uh, it means if the mother cannot cuddle the patient, what you can offer her, so that you can offer her something else. Also, we will show you, as I said, how the mother can take the baby from the incubator bar by herself. Whatever questions you have, whatever suggestions you have, you are more than welcome to ask and we will spend the rest of the time with you with the hands off so you will be able to try it as well. So, I don't know whether there is someone 